Crocheters and welcome to Orbit Crochet. I'm Karen. Just a little reminder to click subscribe and like and then the little bell button so you don't miss any of our episodes. So now we have learnt to do the slip knot, the foundation chain, the single crochet and the double crochet. And we're continuing with double knit yarn and I've swapped over to a little lavender purple colour here and I am still using my four millimetre crochet hook. So this time we are going to work on the triple crochet or the treble. It is abbreviated as TR when you see that in a pattern. Now this is a little bit more advanced and it is a long stitch it's a little bit more flexible than the others especially uh, the single crochet which gives us this nice tight pattern here now it is very similar to the double crochet except this time we're going to yarn over twice okay so I'm going to in order to give us some height before we turn I'm going to actually chain three and turn all right now I've brought all my yarns with me here so hopefully you can't see that so I'm going to yarn over twice this time so if you remember for the double crochet we were yarning over once for the treble we are yarning over twice because we want to make it one stitch taller okay so we're going to go into that first stitch again we're going to pull up a loop we have four yarn over pull up through the two my yarn is in the way pull yarn over pull through another two so that was where our double crochet ended but we still have two loops on our hook so we're going to yarn over again and pull through yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over mm, that was a double yarn over twice insert the hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so you're doing that three times hence the name treble or triple yarn over twice insert the hook pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two So as you can see this creates a longer more flexible stitch there's a lot more going on here a lot more movement and 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 it's a little bit more holy there isn't it but you can also see the graduation in this piece here the short single crochet the slightly taller double crochet posts and then the lovely elongated triple or treble crochet posts there Let's go on and finish to the end of the row. Yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. Yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through the last two. Oops. That's a 
double. There we go, back to a triple. As you can see, it's easy to be distracted in what you're doing there. Now, this is the last stitch. And as you can see now, you, with the double crochet, you can clearly see where the, tra the chain is. Uh, but this there is the stitch that we're going through. Okay. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through the last two. And there we have it. You should have a piece that looks very similar to this now with the single, with the double and with the triple. So congratulations, you have learned the very basics of crocheting. In my next tutorial, we're going to put some of these techniques together as well as learning how to make a circle. And we're going to make our first granny square together. So until then, happy crocheting. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and click the bell button. Speak to you soon.